Hello and welcome to our presentation about basic income. I'm Pim Koolman and this is Matthijs Meijs. So, what are we going to be talking about today? Today we're going to be talking about what is a basic income. We're going to be talking about our main questions and our sub-questions and tell you some things about that. Uh, we're going to be talking about our research and then our research in general, our hypothesis and our, uh, uh, and our results. Uh, we're going to be telling you our sources, which we've used uh, to, uh, to, yeah, to get uh, information about our final paper, and we're going to be giving you our conclusion. So, first, what is a basic income? A basic income is a source of income which every citizen at the age of 18 years or older will receive. The basic income will replace all the social benefits. So when we have got a basic income, we don't have social benefits anymore. Um, a very important thing is that a basic income is unconditional. You don't need to do something for it to receive it. And the main arguments for a basic income are that it will go against poverty and that we'll get more freedom when we get a basic income. Our main question and the sub-questions. Our main question is, what could the basic income mean for the Netherlands? To answer this main question, we've got some sub-questions. Which visions exist about the basic income? What are the advantages and disadvantages of a basic income? What are the political views on the basic income? And what, which experiments have been conducted with the basic income? So, which visions exist about the basic income? So we can divide the uh, basic income into two uh, main, uh, well, two very important visions. Uh, the first one is the social vision, and the second one is the philosophical vision. So the social vision um, has been introduced by the Civilians Initiative 2018, which is a Dutch initiative uh, that wants to introduce the basic income in the Netherlands uh, in 2018. So um, why do they want to introduce the basic income in the Netherlands? It's because uh, they say people right now are limited in their comings and goings. Uh, people can't do the things they uh, actually wish to do just because of uh, the matter of money. Um, also, people don't have cer uh, if we would if they would get a, a basic income, they would have certainty in their lives. They would know that they have an income and they would know that they could uh, do some good in the world. Um, so. Uh, people who oppose this uh, initiative are people who uh, question its affor affordability. Uh, so, are we able to pay for it? And also, um, what is going to be the value of work for people? Because um, if everyone would get uh, a basic income, or a basic income, yeah, uh, would they still actually value their work, or would they just think, "Oh, I've got my income now. I'm going to go on a vacation, and uh, well, see you later." So. Then the philosophical, uh, philosophical vision. Um, so the philosophical vision, uh, you can really um, put a sp perspective into it uh, by, uh, well, by uh, telling about how I'll be trying to put a perspective uh, into it by uh, telling you about the debate that was held in the 1970s between Philippe van Parijs, uh, a famous philosopher who was also um, set up his own organization in favor of basic income, and Bart Tromp, uh, uh, yeah. A, a thinker for the Labour Party, which is uh, a Dutch party, the Partij van de Arbeid. So, they debated in the 1970s about um, uh, it would work if we would introduce a basic income in uh, the Netherlands. Um, Philippe van Parijs thought, uh, uh, thought that, he, uh, well, that that would be really good, but Bart Tromp, he, he said otherwise. He said that while we might actually be able to afford getting a um, getting a basic income introduced in the Netherlands, uh, he thought that uh, the right to an income should flow from labor. And um, Philippe van Parijs then realized that he needed to um, that he needed to um, find a counter argument for this. Um, he uh, th since then. Uh, Philippe van Parijs has uh, given many lectures about uh, the uh, basic income and has also um, spoken with Rutger Brechtman, another uh, Dutch person who is uh, also in favor of the basic income. And um, they um, uh, discussed the matter of um, introducing a basic income into the Netherlands. And 
of course, a new idea brings advantages and disadvantages with them. Um, some advantages are they will get more freedom, no poverty, and less bureaucracy. First, more freedom. When people get a basic income, they get more freedom what they do with their time. Are they going to work a whole week? Are they going to work half a week and, for example, do some charity work? Or, um, for example, they will do art or something which isn't paying enough to maintain their living, but they are happy when they do it. Uh, the second one is that it will go against poverty. Uh, as I said earlier, when everybody gets a basic income, no one, uh, no everyone can buy their food, rent their house and maintain their living. Uh, with a basic income, uh, people don't have to worry about their, uh, yeah, about their income. And also it will initiate less bureaucracy because uh, at this moment we have got a social benefit system. And when we uh, get rid of the social benefit system, we only need to check okay, who is old enough to receive a basic income. Uh, right now, the, um, for the social benefits, we need to check every year, every person um, for a social benefit. For example, uh, can they already work? Do they already have a job? Or um, maybe someone got a new child and now they have the right to more money to um, give the child uh, food and um, yeah, take care of their child. And also there are some disadvantages. Uh, for example, less working people. Um, if many people think, oh, I'm um, working half a week, then what are we going to do with the other half of the week? Because if um, everybody is um, sharing that thought, then we um, have a problem <coughs> with our production and our whole economy because um, only a half of the job will be done. Um, and, there, um, and then we come to the second problem, that's the shortest of, the shortage of employees. When people aren't working half weeks and half time, uh, part time, um, yeah, who are gonna do the jobs that need to be done? For example, uh, doctors. Uh, if every doctor say, "Oh no, I'm going to work half a week," who is going to take care of the people when uh, the other half of the week? And also, a basic income will come with high costs because every citizen gets it. Now, um, with the social benefits, only um, if there are only a limited people who have right of social benefits. But with a basic income, every citizen gets it. So how are we going to pay for it? So what are the political views on uh, the basic income? So the basic income is a relatively new topic uh, on the political agenda. Um, and politicians are really divided uh, with their subject, uh, with their um, opinions about um, with, uh, with their opinions about the basic income. Um, even in their own parties, uh, so one uh, politician might think, yeah, we should introduce this. The other might think, no, this is not, this is not gonna work. Um, that's mainly because the effects of the basic income are unknown. We can't really know what would happen uh, if we would introduce a basic in, uh, income right now. Um, will it work? Will people work less? Will people work more? We really don't know that at the moment. But what we can say is that the interest um, in the basic income is growing uh, rapidly. Uh, more and more people in the Netherlands and even organizations are trying to introduce and um, put, uh, the, put, uh, put the basic income on a political agenda. And uh, um, we've, uh, we think that's only a matter of time before uh, it's, there's going to be uh, debates uh, in, the, in the parliament of the Netherlands uh, for... Um, yeah, for the basic income. Uh, yeah, the, the only question if, is, is if it's attainable or not. So, which uh, experiments have been conducted with a basic income? So, in the past there have been some experiments uh, conducted with basic income. Um, those experiments existed mainly to try uh, to um, uh, get a view on if it's attainable and to uh, see the effects of introducing a basic income in the Netherlands uh, or somewhere else in the world. Uh, so I'm going to be talking about a couple of experiments. First, the Mincom project. The Mincom project was a project in the Canada in the 1970s, uh, which was a project that was conducted uh, to get a view on um, people, uh, if people would, uh, would have social benefits and if we would replace that with a basic income, would this work? 
Unfortunately, the experiment has uh, been stopped because of a change of government uh, in, the, the, in Canada. But in 2008, a researcher um, uh, they dug up uh, all the old results and found some uh, interesting things like um, uh, people didn't start working less, but people started trying to work even more with the basic income. And um, people uh, went, uh, got sick less often and had to go to the hospital less often, which is um, a particularly interesting conclusion. Um, so in Finland, we also have a project that's going on right now, starting in 2017. In Finland, 2,000 people that are on social benefits right now are going to be getting the basic income to try and see uh, what they do with it and um, how they will handle this and if they will try and still uh, go to work, uh, try and find a job and um, yeah, basically if it's a social uh, uh, income would work for them, uh, basic income would work for them. So in Switzerland there's uh, in a referendum in 2016 uh, to find out uh, the interest uh, of, uh, yeah, of the uh, basic income but uh, people in Switzerland didn't want, want it uh, so they uh, opposed it against it and in the Netherlands right now there are some uh, cities like Tilburg, Utrecht, uh, Groningen and um, uh, Wageningen who uh, are trying to uh, yeah, conduct experiments in uh, yeah, uh, right now but the government is opposing it a little so, but they are trying to uh, begin those researches during 2017. Okay, our research. Um, for our research, we made a survey and survey, and we uh, spread it on the students because we want to know their opinions about the basic income. And but why? Um, these students are the next generation workers, um, and they might be living with a basic income if we introduce a basic income. So we need to know what's their view on a basic income, and also they don't have um, a dependence yet because they don't have a family to maintain, they don't have a house to pay, or they don't work um, enough for their whole, um, to maintain their whole, whole, whole li own lives. Um, so they will be uh, yeah, more objective to a basic income. So, uh, what's our hypothesis? Our hypothesis is if we introduce the basic income, uh, students will adjust their plans for the future. And why do we think this? Uh, we think that uh, a basic income will make people, uh, and especially students, more independent in the future because they don't have to rely on, uh, on their jobs to get an income. Uh, we also think that they would think better about their study because um, they uh, don't have to necessarily go for the study which uh, will bring them the best jobs, but they uh, could actually go for uh, think about a study that could do some good in the world or uh, something else or maybe something like arts that uh, really has their own interests. Our results. In first instance, 65% uh, of all the students was in favor of a basic income and 35% of the students was against it. Because most of the people thought, oh yeah, free money, give it to me, I'm in favor. But, um, also, 16% of all the students might uh, consider their choices of study because of the um, of chances of a job afterwards. As said earlier, maybe uh, someone who study arts and get a job will, uh, which will pay less, but with a basic income, they still can maintain their living. 32% um, of all the students might change their choice of working full-time or part-time because uh, when they have a basic income, they uh, might as well get um, to do some things um, they want in the, on Friday and Thursday, for example, instead of working. Um, for example, working at some charitable charity organization. So, for our, uh, for our research and for our final paper in general, we've interviewed two very important people. We've interviewed uh, Professor Dr. M. Uh, McCoy, uh, Canoy. He's uh, the advisor of the European Commission and he's a distinguished lecturer at Erasmus uh, University of Assurance and Accounting. Uh, we've also interviewed Sheer Ruimakers, who's an entrepreneur who uh, crowdfunded his own basic income and who also lectures to political parties about the basic income. They helped us a lot.
our conclusion. The youth is positive about the basic income, but we still need more research because um, many of the youth is only interested for basic income in the narrow term. Uh, what are they? What will? Uh, what will they be doing in about 10 or 20 years with a basic income when they have to maintain a whole household? Um, so we need to look at the long-term consequences to um, get a clear vision. Thank you for listening and this was our presentation on our final paper, the basic income. Thank you very much. Thank you.